up it's Lacey and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make these really cool boho hippie gypsy privacy curtain one of the things that Jaylee needed in her room was a privacy curtain that leads into this office actually like right behind me I wanted to give her something but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it I went on Pinterest and found this inspiration it was weird because there weren't any tutorials showing how to do it I just kind of winged it myself and I think it looks pretty good on Etsy these sell from anywhere around $50 to $200 my grandma had a ton of fabric laying around she gave me two bags full of fabric so this cost me nothing to make and I think that it looks super cute I also want to say that I'm gonna be sharing Jaylee's bedroom makeover soon so make sure you subscribe if you're not already hit the bell to be notified of new videos so if you guys want to know how to make this then just keep watching I laid all of my fabric out and I cut them in two inch wide sections so you can make them thicker or thinner just depending on how you want it to look. And I varied how long I cut them just because this was scrap fabric but also because I wanted them different lengths so I cut them from about six inches long to I, I even had some that were like 20 inches long and I just laid them out like this so that way I could see everything that I had right in front of me. You have to have something to tie your fabric onto and in this case I'm just using a wooden dowel. You can use a shower curtain rod or a curtain rod just depending on what you're using this for. And I'm taking my fabric and I'm folding it in half making sure the ends are even together. And then I'm coming up underneath it with a loop in the middle of the fabric and looping it around and then pulling it through. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that again with another piece of fabric. Folding it in half and then taking the loop behind it and looping it around and tying it tight. You just want to follow these steps all the way down to the end of your rod. Depending on how thick and full you want yours and how much privacy you want, you can go ahead and move your fabric down and add more onto there, or you can spread them out, just depending on your own personal preference. This is what I meant by folding the fabric in half and making sure the ends are straight and together, and then you just want to loop it around. So after you have your first row done, this is when you can start adding on your second. Then I just went ahead and hung mine up because I found that it was easier to work this way. And I'm just going to take another piece of scrap fabric, I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to go around it just like I did on the rod, but this time instead of it attaching onto the rod, it's going to actually attach to the fabric itself. I'm going to show you guys this again. You want to fold your fabric in half, making sure your ends are together, looping it around, and then tightening it to the fabric. And that's it. You just repeat this step however long you want it. I love the mixture of the fabrics here. You guys could get creative and add beads or feathers or crystals or charms or whatever you want onto these. down to the bottom you can either tie them off add some beads or leave them just as they are you could trim them but I'm just gonna leave mine like this <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh,